Hey guys, welcome back. All right, so let's get on with problem problem three from the fundamentals of chapter six. Okay, uh, so let's see. So we're gonna do another method of joints analysis because these these problems call for that. Okay, so let's go back to our our ways of doing things. So let's let's find the reactions first. So at a I have a y a x okay and I see there's a roller so I have C Y okay so in the X I have a x equals zero okay it's the only force in the X when we look at the whole structure in the y direction I'm going to have a y plus c y minus 800 pounds equals zero. Okay, and now let's just take a moment about a moment about a. When all else fails, take a moment about a. Okay, so then we're going to have. This 800 pounds makes it rotate clockwise, so minus 800 times 4, okay? And then CY, that'll be plus 8 times CY, okay? So then CY gives me 400 pounds. Oh yeah, this is symmetric, I guess. So yeah, I guess we could have just done symmetry. CY is 400, and then AY will be 400 as well. Okay, sweet. Now that we have this, okay, let's go to... Okay, let's analyze... Um, let's analyze... <laughs> My freaking dog, Remy. That's my angry dog. Okay, let's analyze. Oh, let's analyze joint F. This is a beautiful one. So let's look at joint F. So before, before analyzing just any joint, like oh, I'm just gonna do A, B, C. Try to look for joints that are gonna, you know, give you a zero force member. So if we look at F, right? Look for the easy ones first. So F, I'm gonna draw everything in tension like always. So I'm gonna say F E and then F A. Okay. So here I have forces in the X equals zero and then F E equals zero. Nice. And then if we do the same thing for the Y, we get FA equals zero. So it should be minus FA, but yeah, FA is just equal to zero, okay? So done with this one, done with this one. If we look at D, this one we can't really do it, okay? Because we have D, DB going across it, okay? But let's see where should we where should we go to next? Okay, I'm looking like C might be the next possibility. Okay, because I'm reckon I see that there is an X member here, so a force a member BC in the X direction, and a member DC in the Y, along with this CY. And you'll see. Why I choose this one? So joint C. Okay. So here I have the reaction for CY, which is 400. Okay. And don't don't worry about don't label these like compression or the reaction forces. Just leave them as some force. Don't label them compression or tension. Okay. Then I have 
just for the hell of it, I'm just going to draw my uh, member DC and tension away from the pin, okay? And then member BC and tension. So forces in the x direction, I have minus BC equals zero. So BC is zero, okay? Because there's nothing else in the x. And then the y direction, I have 400 plus DC equals zero. And then DC is minus 400 pounds, okay? So 400 pounds in compression. Okay, with me so far? I hope so. Okay, so now we have this one and this one, okay? So let's see, where can we go now? I guess we can start tackling uh, joint A. Yeah, we, we have enough information for that one, so. Joint A. Okay. So A, let's draw it. So A is, let's see, what do we have acting on A? We have AY going up 400. Okay. AF, we found that that was a zero force member here, FA. So there's nothing there. Then I have A, B, okay, drawing it in tension. And then I have, what's this, A, E, again, drawing it in tension. And then what do we, let's look for some relationship between these angles or, or sides. So here I have four, a height of three, so I have a four, four, three, and five angle. And I've mentioned this way back in some other videos. Um, always look for that, especially in this book, always look for the relationship of three, four, five triangle or the five, 12, 13 triangle, okay? So forces in the X, okay? So what are my forces in the X direction? Well, I know I have A, Bs already in the X, okay? And then I have the X component of A, E. So the X component is going to be four fifths a, E. Okay, and then forces in the Y. I have 400 plus 3 fifths A, E equals 0. And that yields a value of, let's see, 400 times 5 divided by 3. Minus six 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 point seven. Let's say, okay. So I know that's six 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 point point seven pounds in compression. All right. So we have A E. So let's go here. Where is AE? Gotcha. Okay. Now, with AE, we can solve for AB. So remember, we're going to plug in this value here. All right. And then I get AB is equal to da -da -da, time. So AB, um, okay, so 4 fifths times AE, and that gives me a 533.3 pounds, and it's in tension because it's positive, okay? That's why I recommend just saying, just drawing everything away from the joint, that way everything is in tension, 
and if your answer is positive then you know that it's in tension and if it pops out a negative then you know that it's in compression okay so okay so I found a B so now I have this one this one this this so we're still missing E B and B D okay Ooh, okay so I found another shortcut or not a shortcut but I found another possibility let's look at let's look at joint D and hopefully you're saying ah I see it too joint D okay so here's my joint then I have E E D going away uh, I found CD somewhere I know it's somewhere there so 400 pounds compression okay and 400 pounds compression so I drew it into the pin because you know it's we know it's 400 in compression and then last but not least we need to what is it um, let's see draw this guy BD this is BD okay and again that angle here will be a four three five and if you wanna if you're like okay I got this I can do it the rest on my own what I recommend is look at B okay look at joint B instead of D that way we can you can find out what EB is and BD is on one shot okay Oh yeah, so let's keep going with this one. So f of x equals zero. I have minus e d, okay, and then minus the x component of b d, which is four fifths b d equals zero. And now forces in the y. I have positive four hundred minus three fifths BD equals zero and that's going to yield BD is equal to times five divided by three okay six 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 point seven pounds and again this was positive so it's actually tension okay uh, so we have BD D boom okay and now let's plug it back into the previous equation and we get ED so ED is so plugging in this 4 divided by 5 so minus 533.3 3 pounds so ED is actually 533.3 3 pounds in compression all right Whew, okay it's like a marathon all right so now let's see we found that was ED okay so now we have ED DC we have this one okay oh okay we still need B BE okay and um, that's too bad because I'm like running out of room here. Let's do do do. I don't even know how to put another, make this bigger. Um, so let's just do it in this little tiny corner. That's what I do in my in my, what I used to do in my homeworks anyways. Fit it all on one page. So let's look at joint B. So I know joint B has 
800. Okay. Then it's get BE. So I'm going to draw it away. BE. And we're only going to look at the Y forces. Okay. So A, so this one and this one, we don't care about that's in the X. We only want this one. BD in the three, four, five. Okay, so forces in forces in the y direction. And notice here BD is in tension, so I drew it in tension. So let's do. So I'm gonna cut corners here. So forces in the y. BE plus three fifths. Okay. 3 fifths BD, which we know BD is 666.7, and then minus 800, okay, equals 0. So that's going to give me, so 666.7 times 3 over 5 minus 800. So that basically gives me 400 positive, okay? Which means it's actually in tension, all right? And now we have got them all. Oh, man. They're only asking for A, E, and D, C. Well, now you have everything, okay? Overachievers over here. All right, guys, take it easy. If you have questions, let me know.